So I'm Sandeep Sukhtankar. I'm an associate professor in the economics department at the University of Virginia and also an affiliate of JPL. Gender-targeted police reforms are really important in India since India ranks uh, really, really high on measures of gender inequality. It is home to some of the highest levels of uh, violence uh, against women, gender-based uh, violence. And um, the police, of course, are for many a sort of first and last line of, of defense uh, in terms of uh, addressing this, uh, this violence. But there's sort of many, many reasons why women may not seek help from the police, including sort of societal pressures, uh, lack of trust in the police, the, the sort of severe under-resourced nature of, of policing uh, in India um, as well. And so what this means is that crimes against women um, are severely underreported. We worked with the police, we worked with uh, a lawyer in the high court, we worked with uh, civil society organizations to think about what might be uh, important and what could be done to basically make the police more approachable to women. So the imp intervention comprised of four simple components. So the first was basically just simply physical space. It could just be a cubicle. It could be a, a room, something that where women would feel comfortable reporting sensitive details of crimes that they may have uh, suffered. So that was the first component. The second component, which was very, very important, is a set of training and standard operating procedures. Now these were, again, um, compiled by the police with assistance from us as well as the lawyer um, and civil society and this is think of these as, as checklists uh, for one which is what do you do when a woman comes to the police station um, that's part one and part two was training on uh, details technical details how should the crime be registered what is the correct Indian penal code under which a particular crime can be registered part three was community out outreach which is simple this is basically letting the community know letting organizations that work with women know that this is available this help desk is available for women to come and and register their their cases and then the final component which not all police stations in in the study received was a female officer assigned to run the help desk one of the main results which uh, i, I kind of alluded to earlier was that the cases of civil civil cases of domestic violence uh, were registered by the police at uh, a hugely higher rate in both types of treatment uh, police stations, uh, both the ones where there was a female officer assigned and one ones where there was a female officer uh, not assigned. And uh, the, the rate is astounding. The control group has basically zero cases filed because they don't really know how to file these cases, whereas in the treatment group there was an average of 1.5 cases per police station per month, which sounds low, but that's about a 1,500% increase and is responsible for nearly 2,000 additional cases cases uh, filed over the course of the study and in fact uh, responsible for 41 percent of all cases of domestic violence filed in India over the uh, course of, of the year. Now that's uh, huge because of course Madhya Pradesh only has about 8% of the population and this is absolutely not at all to say that Madhya Pradesh somehow has hugely higher rates of domestic violence. It does not. Uh, it's just the fact that now that the police knew how to file these cases, they were able to file these cases, which is really important because filing these, uh, these domestic incident reports or DIRs lets women access a lot of other uh, s uh, social protection services. So they get access to the, the women and children de department. Um, they uh, could get material support. They can get uh, medical help. Um, they can get all sorts of other assistance once these cases are filed. And so this was a, a, a very, very important uh, initial result. 
Then um, the second main finding was that cases of criminal cases of violence against women um, also went up. Um, and so the, those, uh, again, the, the, the rate increase was, was 14 percent, about, um, you know, 3,500 more cases filed over the course uh, of, of the study. If you separate out those groups, the increase is entirely driven by those police stations who were assigned to have a female officer. And so that's really, really important because it looks like the female officers are uh, now being more responsive to women who come in to the police station. The most uh, important policy lesson is, is simply that women should be at the front lines in policing. And this is really important, uh, not just in Madhya Pradesh, but, but all of India, because many states now have a policy that 30% of all new recruits into the police force must be women. And, uh, you know, the the one alternative is, okay, you hire a lot more women, but then you s have them sit in police headquarters uh, pushing paper, really. Um, but that's not what our study suggests they should be doing. Our study really suggests that they can have an important impact on helping women at the front lines. So thankfully for us, the, the senior leadership of the MPP, even though it's different now, have, has been very supportive and they've taken the findings to be reflective of responsive policing and they've now scaled up the intervention. Of course, for us, it was a, a huge intervention to begin with, 120 stations, you know, the 180 over, stations overall served about 23 million people. But for them, that's still only about 20% of their police stations. So now they've scaled it up to 700 police stations, which is basically covering the entire state, which is roughly about 90 million people. So we, in fact, we have received some funding from uh, the Innovations and in Government initiative of JPAL to understand this scale-up process, to understand um, basically you know, to what extent does the initial intervention persist? Is there spread? Is it sustainable? We're hoping to, to have a sort of next set uh, of results for uh, informing not just what happens in this particular intervention, but understanding sort of the process of scale-up for all interventions uh, uh, across across the board. The key takeaways would really be that you know women need to be at the front lines, women need to be supported when they're uh, at the front lines, and that uh, case registration is, is really, really important for women to access the justice system. Again, it's not the end all uh, of everything, but it's the critical initial step that's important for women to access justice uh, in India.